It's time now for our weekly interview with the Capley Humane Society featuring a pet who is up for adoption. Nadia is in for Matt today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. So please introduce us to who we have here today. <laughs> yeah, this is Ozzy. And Ozzy is a five month old neutered so male. Ozzie. He's a border collie mix. And so um, he is one of the herding breeds. So very energetic, very yeah. smart. We recommend that he meets all dogs and, um, and kids as well. but. He'll need a family who, you know, works on his commands and gets found, plays with him and plays with some toys. He's quite nervous, but once you get him out and spend some time, he slowly starts to warm up. So it may may take a little bit for him to warm up to you. He's working he's the camera a little bit know, though. He's, he's getting the puppy eyes right over there. Yeah, look <laughs> at him. There trying. he goes. Yep, there he good is. Good boy, Ozzy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you posted on social media a few times about an angel tree. Can you guys just explain about that? Yes. Yeah, so the angel tree actually benefits the PAWS program. Oh, perfect. And we have angel trees at both locations. So our park location and our South 70th location. And on there we have tags for litter, dog food, cat food, toys. Um, and so we asked the community to grab a, a tag and purchase just, you know, cat litter or dog food um, and bring it in to help the Positive Impact Project. Awesome. Yeah. How's that sound, Alzi? Good? <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have any promotions going on for adoptions? We do not have any promotions right now, but we do have quite a few dogs over at right. um, the Pylock Pet Adoption Center as well as cats. So we always recommend that people come in and look around and see if maybe they can find the perfect pet for them and maybe Ozzy is one of them. <laughs> uh, I just kind of interesting question here with the holidays coming up and maybe your pets can be traveling with you are there ways to like kind of ease that maybe a little anxiousness for your pets to when you're out you may be in a car for a long period of time something like that yeah yeah with pets and traveling I definitely recommend taking some breaks so they can yeah. go potty making sure that they're hydrated have food maybe some snacks maybe if they're a little nervous talking to your veterinarian about um, you know calming supplements or anything that might help them All right, perfect yeah. are the holidays more busy than usual for you guys or is it still pretty steady it's been pretty steady. I think it's starting to pick up slowly. We've had quite a few adoptions this week, which is fantastic. I think we had 18 on Tuesday, so wow. that's awesome. We're getting pets into their homes for, for Christmas and the holidays, and um, you know, hopefully they're forever homes, forever families. Maybe some people are finding you know pets underneath a tree this time of year, you know, a <laughs> yes. little surprise. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, any specific needs you guys need right now? We can always use canned food, but also fosters. Yeah. With the holidays, sometimes it's a little more difficult to find fosters because people are traveling. So anyone who would love to foster, we have kittens and puppies that, that need a temporary home for now. And it's such a great solution for, you know, if you're not ready for um, adopting a pet, you know, just helping them out um, in a way where you welcome <laughs> them for a little bit. He's ready to go, aren't you, Ozzy? Yeah. All right, can you say, please adopt me? Adopt Ozzy. <laughs> Adopt Ozzy, everyone. <laughs> uh, Nadia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. All right, we're going to be right back after the break, everyone. Please stay with us. Say bye, Ozzy. Goodbye. Right there.